outside of pollution from vehicles then it's time to switch to EVs EVs were introduced back in the 1800s but with the invention of IC engines EV soon became unpopular they have a number of advantages like they do not use any exhaustible fuels they're very eco-friendly and do not require much maintenance now what's inside an EV let's find out the main components in an EV is the battery, the converter, the electric motor and the wheels to which power is transmitted. Now let's focus on the converter. Converters can be of different types and here we are going for a bidirectional DC-DC converter. A bidirectional DC-DC converter works in both buck and boost modes of operation. Some of the bidirectional DC-DC converters are isolated and non-isolated converters. The figure shows the switch capacitor bidirectional DC-DC converter. And this converter can operate in step up and step down modes with C1 and C2 acting as a switch capacitor and C low and C high acting as the energy storage capacitors. In the step down mode, output voltage is stepped down from U low to U high by controlling power semiconductors Q2, Q3, Q4 and anti-parallel diode of Q1. During the step up mode, output voltage is stepped up from U low to U high by controlling power semiconductor Q1 and anti-parallel diodes of Q2, Q3 and Q4. This converter can be coupled with a hybrid energy storage system so that efficiency can be maximized becoming more environmental friendly solution. The advantages of the converter are Reduced number of switches and size due to presence of switched capacitors Increased efficiency by operating power switches in synchronous rectification mode This converter is used for an output power of 300 watt as per our design. Let EVs be adopted worldwide in our future. Thank you.